Well, anyway, it's on offer. Zachary McCaskey, he makes you pay. First boundary for him. And that win factor on that occasion actually helping him. In the gap. And looks to be more runs for McCaskey. He'll get his second boundary, Zachary McCaskey. And again, with outside that off stump, pouncing on it. 16 for none. Down the track, just over mid-off. For a moment there, you thought mid-off was in business, but Kyle Hope hit that well, well enough anyway. Down the track, it's gone high. James is looking, but he can only watch. Goes all the way for a maximum. And could that be an indication of what's to come from Zachary McCaskey, first of the innings? Sweeps well. Fine leg up in the circle, and he'll get a boundary. Zachary McCaskey. Keep working, Ricky, keep working, Ricky, excellent keep working, start for him, Musa 44. Catch him, no, catch Big swag sweep. That's how he got out the first game here. But this time he clears the man. And he picks up 50, Zach McCaskey. What a way to go to it. His second list day, half century, and both of them have come against the West Indies Academy. He loves batting against them. Catch him, no. That's a real Catch drag down. Has he picked the man out? No. Yeah. Would you believe it? No, no, no. Zach McCaskey, brilliant shot to get to 50. The very next ball, an absolute drag down. Look at the catch. You judged it pretty well. Because when you're on the boundary rope, you got to do a boundary check. And did he touch the ropes? Didn't look so by his reaction. Nice dab from Kyle Hope. This should be the 50. It will be. In fact, they're going to get three here. So he's going to move on to 51. Well played, Carl Hope, coming into the side in the previous game. He'd only played one list day game in the previous two years. Hard drive through the gap. And it goes all the way for four. Good effort by Wickham. But uh, that ball just kept on going, racing away from him. There's a pie. Eaten by Shea Hope. Says, thank you very, very much. That's gone a long way. And that's a fantastic shot. Fantastic hands from Shea Hope outside that off stump. Young, not managing to end up out of this over unscathed. Goes for four, end of the fifth. 152 for one. The one he advances wide long on no one are positioned in that position fabulous shot from from Kyle Hope he moves on to 69 good bit of bowling by the young man Kyle Hope has to go he goes for 69 just hanging that one outside the off stump taking the top edge Josh Bishop takes the catch on the mid-wicket boundary. Ned in the wickets. A little bit of a gift here with a ball that was pitched up. Three men out on the leg side boundary. Goes up and over the offside. What a shot that is. One-handed all the way from Shea Hope. Extraordinary. You treated that as if it was a free hit. Mid-offs up, covers up. Sent on. Confusion run out. Both at the same end. Carter's got to go. His torturous innings has come to an end in a very unfortunate manner. The only good thing for Barbados, it wasn't Shea Hope run out. A bit of pressure, a bit of hesitation, a bit of mix up. Carter wanted a single, then Hope taking over. Look at that. He just decided, well, they're both at the same end. And it's going to take it off quite easy. That's it. Picks it up and it's got it in the gap. Curtin with the wind, helping him on that occasion. Wait, wait, wait. But at least he gets his 
50, that's his 50. Gets a single down to long on. Well, it's the 32nd list day 50 for Shea Hope. And again, this man just so consistent in the 50 over format. Did he get something on it? He did. And it's another wicket for the academy. Curtin just getting a tickle on it. And this time in the over, Tuckett takes it. This is a very good wicket to get because they're starting the acceleration. Tuckett probably trying to touch it down to the fine leg. Hope picks him up. Hasn't quite got it though. And it's well taken. Deep mid wicket, Kurt McKenzie again. Because this one initially looked like it was going to be six. It did go up. And initially it looked like it was also going to be going out. It's gone straight up and should be easily taken and is. Reward for Naeem Young, displaying his skill. Again, intelligent bowling. This is the back of the arm stuff. Shane Dowrich is trying to hit this over backward point. Down the track. Oh, has a slide. And that does not help after the good work that the West Indies Academy have done. Connected, and the win helps as well. Gone all the way for a maximum. Hakeem Jordan, he displayed what he was capable of in the last game. Now he's got that in that vacant point region, Hakeem Jordan. Somehow he's managed to maneuver it in that area. This is a valuable cameo from him. 255 now on the board. And Springer in, gets it in the gap. White ball cricket, all about momentum. And right now it's on the side of the Barbados Pride. Well hit by Springer. This time he goes big. Supreme striking from Shamar Springer. Gone a long way back. This was the finish that the Pride required. Goes again. Mammoth. Two and two for Shamar Springer. And the wheels are falling off for the West Indies Academy. This time, very quick. Oh, that's going to be more runs. And this time, innovation on display from Shamar Springer. Opening the face, getting four more. Wants two to finish the innings. And they're going to come back and get them quite safely. But what a finish has been to the innings for the Barbados Pride. No. Gets it through. And it could be the first boundary, will be the first boundary for Keegan Simmons and the Academy. Just the start they needed. Six from the first over. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous from Keegan Simmons. It's the second boundary he's hit in that offside. And he takes the score up to 11. Really well played in the gap. The chase is on for Dorich. And the ball wins in the end. And it's the third boundary for Keegan Simmons. Well timed by Simmons. That's gorgeous off the back foot through the offside. That's the second. Hoiked away. Open space out there. It's gone high and just bounced before the rope. So Julian gets his first boundary. Get him. That's a better shot. Rock back and just picked his spot there through the offside. Julian now is getting going. Expensive over, back-to-back -back boundaries, 49 without loss. Picked up. Glorious for six. What a shot. And for good measure, he's hit one of the ambulance workers. <laughs> that was time to perfection. Goes across and sweeps over. Square leg for four. So Leonardo Julian just got his eye in. Chance out. Taken by Zach McKeskey. 
soft. Julian would think that's a soft dismissal. Got length that he wanted. Actually used the depth of the crease to go back. Edged. Wow, he opened the face. We'll give you the benefit of the doubt there, Keegan Simmons. Four more. Upish. But that feel it inside the circle. And it just runs into the boundary. Well, Javid Leacock has decided he's going to pitch that one up and it was dispatched. I think Simmons has decided, look, I've been pushing around way too long. And he gets his half century. He's going to scamper through for one. Well played, Keegan Simmons. His second half century of this tournament. 50 of 71 deliveries now. That one's been... Top edge, it's gone high. Shea Hope takes the catch. I think he's trying to accelerate too, with Kirk McKenzie. But I think this one just hit the top of the bat. It didn't hit the middle of the bat at all, just the top. And he's gone, caught at gully. Wickham goes. Massive wicket for the Barbados Pride. Plays away from the body, not a bouncing delivery. Good catch. And he's through the gap. Oh, and he's, is he going to be given? He's gone, caught behind. Almost seemed like the inside edge there. Look at this one. Yes, took the inside edge. Probably onto Simmons' pad as well. Straight to Shea Hope. Once again, a shot that we saw in the previous game. Aki Mogis just picking up where he left off. High, hasn't got enough on it. Springer's underneath it, takes a comfortable catch. And this is what we talk about with his experience. Got along up, went here, where he probably could have hit it down in the ground. Picked out the only man down there in Jamar Springer. Swept hard for four by Kevlon Anderson. That's his first boundary. Catch it. Hit hard through the gap by Kevlon Anderson. There's a man on the drive waiting for the catch. There's a cover, but he went right in between them. Oh, reverse sweep, that would have hit middle stump, wouldn't it? It was almost a Yorker length, it's brilliantly played. Get it. Edge taken, snaffled by Kyle Hope. And well done, Javid Leacock, it's a handshake. Didn't get over it, pulled away. It's almost like it came off the face of the bat. Wow, what a shot to play. Second ball, he's caught hold of that. Someone better go and get that ball. Well, he shows his intent. And this one's been clobbered for six runs. Over wide long on. McCaskey couldn't get round to corral that one. And that's stone dead. That's probably missing mid, missing off and leg only. He's got to go. Well, I could give this one out from here. That would have hit the middle of the middle stump. Probably pissed off stump, cutting in a little bit to the middle stump. Yeah. He's gone for the reverse sweep. Has he taken the edge? He's been given four for for Carter. Almost always, this reverse sweep gets him in trouble. That ball got onto him much too quickly. A bit of what we saw the other night. Josh James in at 10. That has gone really high up, but it hasn't gone long enough. And it is a superb catch by Kamari Boyce.
Joshua Bishop giving himself a bit of room, opening up to get a free swing of the arm. Yeah! Five for Carter. A moment to remember. His last five bigger hole was back in 2013. Now he's got one nine years later. And look at what it means to him. The Pride bundle the Academy up for 197 and win in this CG United Super 50 Cup by 82 runs. Good way to end the match for Jonathan Carter. A five wicket all. You'll remember this. The off stump of Ned being disturbed. There he goes being celebrated by Curtin. He looked up in the sky when he got his five for. Very happy man. He has contributed with the ball for his team today. Himself and that man, Lee Cock. The main contributing team in terms of taking wickets for Barbados. The Pride has won this game by 82 runs in the end.